Hola. Hello. ¿Cómo estás? Better, Are you feeling right Mario? How's, cor how's Corona? Uh, both of us feeling better, thank you. Are you doing okay? Hi Mario, you look good. You look good. Thank you. <laughs> I'm taking the new pill. Oh. Viagra? No, I wish. This was three big pills like this. Oh, okay. Every morning and what's every it, evening from five. What's it called again? What I forget, what's the treatment called? Uh, Pax L Paxlovid. Okay, good. Hope for Azana well. doing? Azana? Better also. Better. Okay. The, you know, each also got it. Your mustache fell off though because of Corona. <laughs> it ate your mustache. My what? Your mustache. Your mustache. It it destroyed wow. your mustache. <laughs> you look younger. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I lost weight. Oh God. That's How about your smell? Say. Your sense of smell. No, it's it's the same. I didn't lose. Okay. okay. Yeah, my sisters all say they want to get Corona. It's a great diet. Oh God. Nun <laughs> tests. Right. Actually, Nun has fifty-eight on the bottom, but on we'll, the be bottom. Doing, we'll be doing fifty-nine. This arm alone is Garshu. Boy, my Yosef Mishmuel. Coin Godel Shakidish a Saktana Uvagra Takta. The coin Godel has to marry Basuma. So if he gave her Kiddushin when she was under 12, and then she became 12 and a half of Bulgaris, while he, you know, when she becomes a Bulgaris, she loses, in a sense, her Basulim because they become less virginal. That's just the way it is. She's older. It's not consistent. So a coin goddess has to marry a basula, has to marry, um, cannot marry a bulgaris. It's so far because she's she's not called isha bivsuleha. But maybe since he gave her kiddushin when she was a katana, and she became a bulgaris, sort of connected to him. Mal, do we say baser nesuin linan? Listen, he married her when she was a Bulgaris. So at that time, she wasn't Roy for him. Oh, Basare Rusanazlina. But he married her when she was a Katana. That would be okay. Because at the time of Kiddushin, she was Roy. So how do we look? Armelay to Nisua. We have an answer. Nisarmalon is Garshu. A woman who became a widow or got divorced. Mina Nisu in Psulos. So of course. If they were fully married, so a coin girl could not marry them because of Namona or because of <laughs> However, Mina Erus and Kshelos says that if they if she was only married through Kiddushin and her husband died or divorced her, that doesn't possible the Kohen. 
So it's only after Nisuin and not after Eresin. Everything follows Nisuin. Armelei l'shav l'chalala. To make her a chalala, lokum aboyinli, the bia he did mashrav have a chalala. Bia is what makes her a chalala. That's not my question. Ki kum aboyinli vehu ishav v'sule yikach mai. When the Torah says that the coin girl has to marry a besula, do we say ki chadi kiddushin by inon? Does he have to already acquire her with kiddushin when, she, when she's a ktana? Or ki chadi nesuin by inon? Or only at the time of nesuin, he has. We have to make sure that she's not a bugaris. Amr le anami to nesuin. We learned that as well. Eris a salmon. A kohen gave kiddushin to a widow. A regular kohen had yet can marry a widow. Only a kohen gadol can't marry a widow. Then is Manalios Kohen Gadol. In between Kiddush and Nesuin, he was appointed Kohen Gadol. Yichnos, he's allowed to marry her, even though Asr Bamana. So it looks like we go after Kiddush, not after Nesuin. Morse Shani Asr Dechsiv Yikach Isha. That means he's allowed to end up marrying with Nesuin, someone who he already had Kiddush with. During the, it's a special din for that case if a coin goddle is appointed between Kiddushin and Erusin. But Achas but there's only one heter, not two heters. There's only one type of woman. That one that uh, he, when he married her by Erusin, at that time, everything was fine. She was not uh, problematic. She, she was not Mona, but but uh, it was only Kiddushin. Then if he marries her, after he was a regular coin head yard. In that case, it would have worked. Umare Isa. Why do you differentiate between the cases? Because when she becomes a Boigeras, Ishtani Gufa, her body's changed. It's her that's changing. Bahalo Ishtani Gufa. A man who is appointed coin Godel, he doesn't, his body doesn't change. It's just his position. So that's why there was a, a makam to be matir in the case when he gave kiddushin to an alman and then was appointed coin godel that we allow it. Mishnah. Coin godel or yisalmana. Bein almanam and ayrusim bein almanam and anusu. Mishnah says beferish. Coin godel can't marry a widow. Whether she's a widow from kiddushin or a widow from the suit. Below yisal is a bogeres. Like we said, he can't marry a bogeres. Well, that's Rabbi Shem Machshim be bogeres. They allow. We'll see what the machlekes is all about. Everybody seems to hold that an isha that was, let's say, uh, playing soccer, and her she lost her basul. Somebody kicked her there. It's called mukas eights. She was penetrated with a piece of wood, not bia, but some kind of traumatic accident. So, a coin godel can't marry someone like that. So, I mean, why would I think differently? The first time that the Torah uses the word Amana is the daughter in law of Tamar by Yehuda. There, she was an Amana from the Suin. She had actually married Er and Onan. Maybe over there by the Parsha of Kohen, when it refers to Amana, and Amana means Midanasuin from Tamar. Maybe that is the din. Or says, no, do me the Grusha. We already have a precedence by Grusha that it's, it's, she's a divorcee no matter what, whether from Kiddushan and Nasuin. Then the Mishnah said, "Lo yisa saboigeres." Torah about of who he shab if sulei yikach. Kohen Gadol should take a woman with her psulim. Prat la boigeres should call up sula a a girl above the twelve and a half. In some way, her psulim have uh, are not the same as they were before. The Reb Meir, but let's Rav Shem Machshir me boigeres. They say a Kohen Gadol can marry boigeres. So what's the machlokes between Rabbi Meir and Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shimon? Why come in for me? Rabbi Meir says besula, afilu mixes besuli mashma. You have to have all your besuli, and since the Bulgaris has lost some of her besulim, 
it excludes uh, Bulgarians. That's from the word besula. What about besuleha? Adi ika kolab suli. Adi ika kolab suli. Just have all of the suli, which excludes the Bulgarians. Then comes the din. If she's had be a kedarka, where normally there are besulim, then she's considered a beula, and she's posel. But here, if someone had had anal relations with her, it does not posel her to marry a kohen gadol. She's not considered a beula, at least regarding this din. Because of this extra word, Bisulah. Rabbi Rabbi Shimon, not like what we learned every up till now, that having Bia Shalok Kedarka is like any other Bia. Here there's an exclusion. Rabbi Lazar Rabbi Shimon Savri, Bisulah, Bisulah, Shlema Mashma. When it says Bisula, it means a complete Bisula. Bisula, I feel it makes us Bisula. As long as she has some besulim. So a Bulgaris who has some besulim would be mutter, according to them. They hold that be a shalokadarka would cause her to be a beula and would be puzzled to coin god. Now, Rav makes a statement that if a girl was nivel shalokadarka, a Kohen can't marry her. Rashi says the Kohen Gadol, shemitzuval absula. Aval lehed yira fi lekedarka kshayra. The ain zon ela nivelas la oser la. Having be a shalokadarka is not oser. It's not a be. It's not a be a sister. So it doesn't make her alach exona. So Rashi points that all out to us. So it's only oser for a Kohen Gadol. Masi from velosi eli isha. A man who rapes a girl has to stay married to her. But that's only be Isha Ruyalo. Prat la mana coin godal grusha chutz la coin head. If a coin godal raped an amana, he's not he can't stay married to her. He can't marry her at all. Or this is by by yeah, a Nara Basula. If he's, he rapes a Nara Basula. Now the Gemara doesn't understand Hikido Ilemi Kidarka. If the bia was kedarka, my iri mishum almana. Why are you saying almana la kohen gadol? We don't need it as almana. Typically, mishum davi le beula. If she ha- if she was raped, she's a beula, so she can't uh, she can't marry the kohen gadol. Ela lav shalok kedarka must be there was bia shalok kedarka, which didn't invalidate her as a beula. So therefore, Mishum Almana, you have to say the prohibition is because of widowhood, Mishum Ba'ula, lo. By the way, also the Kohen Gadol says, Na'ara Shanivala Shalok Kedarka. The final halacha is Kohen Gadol cannot marry a Na'ara that was Nivala Shalok Kedarka. She's considered a Ba'ula. And this is Misha Anas Isha Asura Lav. Somebody raped a woman that is usher for him. Harez Elisa can't marry her. Lachem Koen Charnas Agrusha Zachlutza Koen Gadol Shana Zalman Olay Sam. I can't marry them. Even though normally the din is you have to marry them. Now, Gemara says, no raya from the way you were learning. Hamani Rab Meir he, who already said that a Bu'ula Shalokadarka can marry a Koen Gadol. So that may be, that explains the din over there. Not uh, because Almana Yim Yishum Bu'ul Allah. It's Rab Meir. Now, the Rab Dhamma Krab Lazar, what about Rab? He holds like Rab Lazar, who held that, so Ik Rab Lazar, my Yim Yishum Bu'ul Allah. Typically, that will be Zona. Rab Lazar holds, Pono Yabal Apnu Yishalol L'Shem Yusha Sasao Zona. A single guy has relations with a single girl, not for marriage purposes. It's his nus. It makes her Allah Zona. I don't believe we paskin like Rabbi Lazar. We don't paskin like Rabbi Lazar. And that's very important because <coughs> Kohanim can't otherwise marry a Zona. So 
We'll see whether we pass like him. I think later on we say we don't. But the Gemara is saying, why are you bringing in Be'ula? She's a halachic zona. Any coin can't marry her. Comes Rav Yosef to say, you know, Kagon Shenivala Lebehema. An animal had relations, Shaloka Darka, with this girl. When Rav said that a Be'ula Shaloka Darka is Psulakuna, that's by a Behema. The Hasa Mishum Be'ula Ika Mishum Zona Leka. You can't. You cannot make a woman a zona unless with a human being. An animal having is does not make her halachic zona. It's amazing. We'll see in a minute what the implication of that halach is. So here she's invalidated to the coin girdle because she's a baula, not because of znus, because it was from a behema. I don't get it. You can't have it. How could you say it's not a zona? Maybe you're going to say that she was poked in the rectum by a piece of wood. She's not a basula, but she's not a zona because it was no bia. And maybe a behema having relations with her shaloka dark is the same thing. But then the rock says in No woman would be able to marry a coin because everybody wiped their rectum with a piece of rock after they went to the bathroom, they would all be considered mukas, muka, they would consider like they had biyashalokadarka and they would be awesome. We don't apostle that. We're talking about a girl who was under 12, got married by her brother's mother. Her husband had biyashalokadarka with her before she did meal. That's not a bias news because she was married. <coughs> And the Vila was kosher. She's Nifsa Lakuluna because she's not a Basula. Wow. Amrav Simi Barchia Nivala Lebehema Ksher Lakuluna. A girl that had relations with an animal. She's treated like a Mukas Eid, someone like who had an injury. We're talking about Shaloka Darka. Either way, Kedarka or Shalok Kedarka. She remains Ksher Lakuna. She's not a halachic zona. I, it's a bia that's usher, but it's not a human being. Tain amachi nivala lamisha eno ish. Right? It's not a human being. Avopi shabiskila. Now, if there were two Adim, they would kill her. Ksher Lakuna. She remains Kosher Lakuna. Kiyos Rav Dimi Yomer Maisa Beriva Achas Pi Hitlu. There was a girl in Hitlu, Shaisa Mechabesa Bay. She was sweeping the house. Rava Kelev Kufri Machre, a dog had relations with her from behind. Shaloka Darka. Vichshira Rebbe Lakuhuna. Rebbe said it's kosher. Amr Shmuel, a coin gadol. Even a coin gadol is not considered a bu'ula. Be me Rebbe, Frank the more Rebbe lived in 180 C. There were no coin, there was no base on Migdash. Be me Rebbe, coin gadol, miyave, ala ru'il a coin gadol. If it would have been a time the base of Migdash, she could have been the coin gadol. Amr Le Rava. Where do we see this concept that having relations with the Hema is not znus? You can't take the, the wages that you pay a zona and you use that to buy a Corbin or the exchange price of a dog. So with non- if a person gave money to have relations with a dog, so that money you can buy a Corbin with. Or he bought a Zona with a certain amount of money. These would be mutter. Because there's only two. If it would be Esnan Kel Mechir Zona, you'd have four. Or it says Gam Shneya means it rejects the other two. Halacha, Nivala Lebehema says the Rambam, Sefer Kedusha, Nivelis Lemisheno Adam, a girl has a relations with an animal, Afopishyesh Mikachiv Skila, he call her come Ena Nikrazona. She's not a halacha, Zona of Ena Psul Lakuna. If Nivala Shalokedarka, Mutter Safa Coin Godel. If it happened Shalokedarka, she could live with a coin Godel. 
She couldn't if the, if it was by the area of the besulim. We, we we learn that it's not considered. She's not considered a buula. Other way, Ernie, he talks about uh, the, on the side they have a, what a kufri dog is, right? He gives a whole explanation. The Kelef Kufri. Kelef Kufri, who gazem yuchat shokla, certain species of dogs. His name is derived from the word Kefra, got, village. It's like a village, a village dog. Right, that because dog raised dog with... that certain it grew up in a village. So it's in the Mishnah. It's like a there. fox. It sounds like a, like yeah. a wolf. Like a wolf. Like a, a fox. A, a, a German Shepherd. No, they said similar to a fox, therefore like they call it, they were pets already at that time. Similar to a jackal or a fox. It's kind of dogs we used to hunt mice, cats, and the like. Right. And they also served the pest. Rabbi on the Mishnah <coughs> refers to the breed identified by some scholars today as a Saluki, a hound whose ancestors date back thousands of years. Some versions of the Talmud read monkey instead of dog. Okay. Honorabona. Anusa Satsmo Mufuta Satsmo. Coin Godel rapes a girl or seduces a girl. Normally the din is you have to marry the girl. But in, but it's she's not a she's not a basula anymore. Coin Godel has to marry a basula. So lo yisa. The imnasa nasun. If he married her, they're they're married. But Somebody else raped a girl. He shouldn't marry her. The Imnasa, from the Ezra ben Yaakov Omer, Avlad Chalal. The child is a Chalal. Because she wasn't a Basula. We're talking about a coin called Rechon and Avlad Kosher. Now, what does it mean, Imnasa Nasui? Why, why, is, why is he allowed to stay married to her? It means he's married, but the Kiddushim are Teufus, because these are only Lavim. We've already learned Kiddushim is Teufus, so it needs a get. What does that mean? She doesn't pay, he doesn't pay the fine. If he married her, <laughs> You know, you've divorced her, he doesn't have to pay the knas. You only pay the knas if you don't want to marry her. Well, we'll tell a story about that. Okay, so do we want to learn uh, in the morning or do we want to learn like at 4.30 in the afternoon?